Hello, welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm Jason DeFossi with Dale and Zartman. Building on the last segment that we were talking about rapid extrication assignments, we're also going to now integrate and use one of our low profile water devices. Dalen's going to go over more technical details of using that piece of kit. Dalen? Thanks, Jason. One of the key advantages of a low profile appliance is if we're going to transition from a defensive posture, a let it burn, and we're getting ready to engage this, we do not have to initiate lifts or relocations of the vehicles. This lets us immediately gain access. Important things to think about uh, real world to understand how you're going to get this into position. Most battery packs in modern EVs fail below the vehicle. So there's a high probability of battery cells distributing out of the floor pan and a pile of these batteries being developed under the car. The battery pack itself can also sag and close that diameter of that difference uh, between the ground and the floor platform of the vehicle. So we want to use a hand line to sweep and clear material under the vehicle prior to attempting to advance our low profile appliances. We then want to get that low profile appliance center mass under the vehicle. Let that water distribution initiate and in most cases that indirect cooling and also direct cooling when we have a penetration in the battery pack is going to allow us to start effectively firefighting. That will also create somewhat of a water cone to allow secondary positioning of EV blankets and other applications that we may be applying. This is a particular interest or high on the priority list where we're fighting fires on these in dense parking lots or in parking garage structures. So when we have adjacent vehicles all in close proximity, this application is a very, very important tactic. Another important thing to understand about these low profile appliances is they create very effective cooling water curtains between the fuel load, which is the battery pack, and the flooring system. So if we're in an elevated floor in a parking garage and we have pre or post tension concrete, that fire and thermal production on that aggregate deck can potentially cause expansion of steel cables and potential collapse. To address that, applying these, creating that cooling water curtain is going to very adequately and effectively protect the flooring ensemble uh, while keeping the fire at bay and applying all those cooling efforts. That's great, Dalen. What we're going to have next is we're going to have the team come in. We're going to deploy this uh, appliance. And we're going to show you how it all comes together. So the hand line is going to apply aggressive sweeping patterns under the vehicle to clear any batteries and debris. Then a water cone is applied with a fog stream to provide protective measures. The low profile appliance is advanced dry. And once it's in position, we call for water. Then the cooling efforts are applied underneath the vehicle while the blank is in advance over the vehicle. Now we're encapsulating gas and containing it while at the same time applying cooling efforts to the internal vapor space, indirect cooling to the battery pack and potentially direct cooling to the battery pack if we have a breach or penetration in the battery pack enclosure. So in this last video, what did we talk about? We showed how and when to use a low profile appliance. This can truly make big differences on your rescue when you have this type of equipment on your trucks. Dalen? Yeah, indirect cooling is an interesting concept. Although it's not as effective as direct cooling to the battery pack, um, it does make things better. So even if you don't have a penetration in the battery pack or a visible vent point, you can identify where it is and you don't have time or resources to lift and reorient the vehicle Low profile attacks are big difference makers. The other important consideration we discussed is dense parking areas with lots of exposures and enclosed parking garages. Anytime we move out of outdoor ambient atmospheric air and we enclose that space like those parking garage or residential garage applications, incorporating the blanket as an overlay to vent space and indirect cooling is really critical to manage the atmosphere. As always, Dalen, thank you very much, and thank you for watching Fire Engineering Training Minutes.